Hi, this is Nori from My Service Depot. Today we're going to cover the Smart Routes add-on for Smart Service. This is an additional module available for purchase either through your assigned sales representative or the client support desk. The module itself is designed to help your office find the most effective driving route through all of your stops. This can be done in two ways via the module. The first half of the add-on, called Advanced Routing, is designed for customers who have regularly scheduled visits. The second portion, called the Smart Find, is designed to help your company find the best spot in your existing schedule for new jobs. Both parts can be used individually or together to provide the most convenient and effective route. To get started, let's discuss the advanced routing section. Create jobs as normal and add them to the field employee's schedule. Jobs can be placed in any order as smart routes will be used momentarily to place them in their proper order. A note before we continue, Smart routes will assume your field employee's starting point is your company. However, if their starting point is from home or another location, enter the Employee Setup screen, select your employee, and add their starting address here. Be sure to check the Use User's Address as the starting address for Driving Directions box, and then save the record. Afterwards, head over to the Office screen, and we'll select our Advanced Routing and Scheduling option. Once inside the module, select the employee you wish to route for and a date range for the jobs you wish to route. Please note that routing more than one day at a time will tell Smart Routes to create one route containing all of the scheduled jobs. If you would like to route one day's worth of jobs at a time, be sure to only select one date. Also, keep in mind that in order to function, your field employee must have a minimum of three jobs and a maximum of 98. If you have any jobs that have been confirmed on the scheduling board, they will be marked with asterisks in this window. If included in your routing, they will be rescheduled regardless of their confirmed status. To keep these jobs confirmed on the scheduling board where they are, uncheck any of these boxes next to the job that needs to stay put. If unchecked in this screen, Smart Routes will disregard these jobs and route the rest of the jobs as if the unchecked job did not exist. Once you have a list of jobs to be included in your routing, click the Auto Route button at the top of the screen, which will launch the Route Customization window. From here, we can go ahead and give our route some rules. The first option we have is to select whether the route should contain a specific number of stops per day or go until a certain time of day. We'll select an average job time. At a maximum, this can be set for one hour. However, this can always be adjusted later on from the scheduling board. We'll also choose the assigned field employee. This can differ from the employee you've originally scheduled these jobs for. A great example of this would be for companies who are using the unassigned employee, as I am here. We can route and simultaneously move these jobs to the correct employee. The starting date will be set to today's date by default. However, another date can be chosen from this window. Also, pick out a start time. By default, this will be set to 12 a.m. If you've chosen number of stops per day in the first option, specify how many stops you would like that to be here. Will your route include weekends? And for best results, make sure to include drive time. The Route by Zip Only option will read the first five digits of each job zip code and create clusters of jobs within that zip code. This option does not provide specific directions to individual addresses and should only be used by customers that require segmenting jobs strictly by zip code. Once you have set rules for the route, click Start Routing My Jobs to let Smart Routes organize your schedule. Depending on how many stops your route includes, this part may take a few moments. Once complete, a prompt will be displayed saying Auto Routing Complete. And if you are satisfied with the route created, click Finish Optimizing on the left-hand side. This will return us to the first screen, displaying our jobs in the correct order. If Smart Routes had any issues finding one of your stops, it will be displayed in yellow. Once all stops are accounted for, click Finalize to accept the route and add it to your calendar. The other feature included in this add-on is called Smart Find. This tool works by checking the address of the job that you are on and checking for any times or dates where you may be nearby this customer. It should only be used when you have an existing schedule already created or at least a few jobs on the board. Trying to use the Smart Find tool with a blank scheduler will not yield any results as the job could be scheduled for any time. This tool can be found inside of any job under the Scheduling tab. To get started, we'll click the A to B button next to the Scheduling wand and give Smart Find some parameters for routing. The Find option is for how much time you think the job may take. We're going to look for availability in the next 10 days. Starting today. 
either for a specific employee or for any part of my service department. Make sure to include actual drive time and mileage for accurate results. Once we have the correct settings in place, select look up available slots to let Smart Find search for matching options in the desired time frame. Once the search is complete, Smart Find will display all matching times here. The information you see is what the current job will be scheduled for, including its potential date, time, and employee. The miles and minutes section will give you an idea of how far away this job is to the existing schedule. The first miles and minutes column will let you know how long and how far away this job is from the one before it. And the second miles and minutes column will let you know the same information about the job after this one. Select your time slot by left clicking on one of the options. On the right, Smart Routes will display a suggested route your field employee should take through all three jobs. When you are satisfied with your selection, click Use Selected Time Slot to Confirm, which will schedule the job for the desired date and time. This concludes our segment on the Smart Routes add-on for Smart Service. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please call our client support team at 888-518-0818. And for more hints, tricks, and tips, visit us at www.smartservice.com/wiki.